When you're walking around most gussies, you are bound to find broken down and old cars in people's yards. Some of these cars are jams, but unfortunately their owners cannot restore them or get them up and running. Today I'm out in Soweto to be speaking to Willem Ludaba, who owns a 1977 Mercedes-Benz SL500. I know, right? What a beauty. Unfortunately for this SL, Willen owns a panel beating shop and soon this beauty will be gracing the streets of Soweto and South Africa. Let's go check it out. So William, before we get into details about your SL500, please tell me about your love for cars. Uh, I have been in love with cars since the age of seven years. Yeah. Uh, my father was also um, a uh, DIY type of a mechanic. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, had, he had always had scraps of cars in the yard. I didn't understand, but I think I fell in love with cars from that age. So growing up, what kind of cars did you like? Uh, there was a Ford Ranchero, which is a uh, almost a, a similar type of a vehicle, a similar type of a car, like a Ford Commando in America. It's more like a vintage. My father used to drive that one. I love that car. It had a lot of space, one big seat at the front, you know, so yeah, I loved uh, vintage cars from there. I mean, it's evident that you prefer classics over modern cars. Why is that? Yeah, I prefer more classics. I have more classics Why? than modern cars. They are, they are appreciate in value, they are more matured, and uh, you know, they are also uh, the durability, the quality. You know, it's not like the, no, the nowadays cars. Nowadays cars, there is not much of quality, there is more looks than quality. So William, let's talk about this beauty right here. Your 1977 Mercedes-Benz SL500. Tell me more about the car, please. I always loved Mercedes. Mm. And uh, when I, I was looking for a uh, preferred uh, uh, a classic car to build, I saw a 500 S, uh, uh, SL500 mm -hmm. on the net, and I said, no, this one I have to get it. And I've been looking for it since from 2009. Wow. But in 2012, I then finally got this one in Midway from the old man who owned a workshop as well. He sold it to me. And then, uh, yeah, since then I've been working on it, spraying it, driving it, changing it, like changing the color, taking out the engine, rebuilding it again until, you know, uh, I get the satisfaction I want. I'll keep on redoing it. So I understand that you're fixing the car. What is it that you've done so far and what do you think that you need, to, you still need to add to this? Look, uh, there is a uh, CL500, uh, 2016, which is a black series. <laughs> uh, I have seen a, a orange color Ooh. on that Mac, so I loved it. I'm going to put that color onto this one. So that's why I stripped it to the bone, so I can change the color and also the interior. I wanted to match that kind of a look uh, with the current uh, CL Mercedes. Okay, so we're moving from having an SL beautiful car to a sexy beast. So how much have you spent on this car and how much more do you think you're going to need to spend on it? The color that you're going to put in here now, the tone, uh, it's about 1.8 per litre. So we're going to need three litres of that. Yeah. And it's a two-stage color. So it means you're going to have another toner, apart from the one of 1,800 mm -hmm. that you need to buy, which is going to be a two liter, that will cost you about 900 rand. So on paint, we are looking at spending at least between 15 and 18,000 rand. And uh, on the interior, uh, we have already got a code for 9,000 rand for, for refurbishing the seats, putting in the correct quality leather. So it's about 9,000 rand. And mechanically, the engine, we're busy doing it. We actually changed uh, the, the motor. Uh, we bought a 560 mm. uh, motor, which costed us about uh, 22,000 rand. Woo. We still have to take in, uh, take uh, take the gearbox in for for refurbishing as well. Uh, probably to cost us about four and a half to five thousand rand. So we're still looking at at least run about cost of about 60 to 70, 80,000 rand. It might sound like a crazy question, but if you were to sell this baby, how much would you go? How much would you sell it for? 
they now go uh, between 250 and 600,000 rand. So uh, we'll have to look at the, the, the final product and take it for evaluation and then maybe get the correct value. Um, so listen, I understand that you own a panel beating shop, meaning you know a lot about cars. So if a person like me wants to invest in a classic car, what are things that I should look out for? What is important about classic cars, you need to look at uh, uh, the, the, the model of the car yeah. or the make of the car, which is important. Mm. There is classic cars that appreciate in value, but there is classic cars that depreciate in value. Mm. Like for an example, if you look at a Ford, they always appreciate in value. Mercedes Benz, your, uh, your, 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 your Chevy, they appreciate in value. But get to Toyota, there is not a lot of Toyotas that yeah. appreciate in value in terms of the classic cars. Yeah. A 1977 uh, Toyota uh, and the Mercedes Benz 1977, uh, the value of the Toyota depreciated instead of appreciating, but the Mercedes Benz appreciates in value. But also, what you need to look at is rust. Ooh. Rust is very common with old cars. You need to look, you need to look at rust, and if the, if it does have rust, it shouldn't be on the the more strengthening part of the vehicle, like your 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 your, your chassis. Yeah. You must avoid rust at all costs from your chassis because a car can break apart while you're driving. The SL500 has always been a sexy car and obviously William has followed suit after Justin Timberlake because he's trying to bring sexy back and I'm not talking about me. <laughs>